Hi there, Philippine Claus here with Talk Tax. There's a new exempt and zero rated VAT schedule, ladies and gentlemen. It's in all four of the daily newspapers and it's very extensive. The list includes all the goods and services that do not, and I repeat, do not attract value added tax. They range from food and household supplies, educational materials and services, agricultural items, to exported goods and services, raw materials, manufactured products, and medical supplies. Wow. I hope you saw it. But if you didn't see it, look for it. And when you find it, keep it safe. Stick it on the wall or somewhere that you can see it almost every day. Remember, as a consumer, you spend every day. And not only do you want to ensure value for money, but you want to ensure that you don't pay more for products or services that you ought to be paying. Remember, money doesn't grow on trees. So be a wise consumer and check for the VAT exempt and zero rated list in the newspapers. If you don't see it, you can always call me. On second thought, don't call me. The entire list of VAT exempt and zero rated goods and services is on the GRA's website. This website right here. Just check under notices. In the meantime, check this out. Employers, the due date for the yearly submission of Form 2 is drawing closer. This can be tedious, hectic, and time consuming, right? We know. Ever wonder if there was a fast and easier way to get this done that is stress free, efficient, and virtually paperless? Well, guess what? There is. Jaris eService is here to help you do just that. Visit our website for the quick, simple, and easy steps to follow to get you started. GRA, your partner in development. Welcome back. We're talking about the new value added tax exempt and zero rated schedule in this edition of Talk Tax. In case you're wondering, what is the difference between zero rated and exempt? If you're an ordinary consumer, it means the same thing. You pay no VAT. But as a business, exempt means you cannot claim on your input VAT credit, while zero rated means that you can. Businesses, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. The revised list of exempt and zero rated supplies is in keeping with Schedule 2 of the VAT Act. It is pretty much similar to the last list that we published, if you remember, just with a few changes here and there. But if you still have the old list, then I suggest you get rid of it so as not to be confused. The list will come in handy for you businessmen and women since, well, you're the ones that charge VAT on goods and services at a rate of 14%, well, except where those goods or services are exempt or zero rated. And remember, the law says if you fail to charge VAT on an item that is VAT inclusive, you will have to account for the tax as if it was charged. What? Unbelievable but true. Section 90 part 1 of the VAT Act states that a price charged by a taxable person in respect of a taxable supply is deemed to include for the purpose of this act the tax charge on the supply. Now the other reason businesses should get a copy of the VAT zero rated and exempt list is because well they are required by law to advertise whether goods are VAT inclusive or VAT exclusive for the sake of their consumers. This is because consumers should be made aware beforehand the final price they will pay for this elected item and not get the shock of their lives when they get to the cash register. Visit our website, check us out on YouTube to learn more.